Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in Learn Data Science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on data limo regarding app click-through rate using PostgreSQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in Facebook interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, assume you have an event stable on app analytics, write a query to get the app's click-through rate in 2022. Output the results in percentages rounded to two decimal places. Note percentage of click through rate is 100.0 multiplied by number of clicks divided by number of impressions. To avoid integer division, you should multiply by multiply the click through rate by 100.0 and not 100. Integer division, as I described in the earlier video as well, is basically when you ignore the decimal part of a fraction so basically if you divide 5 by 2 the answer should be 2.5 but like in, in integer division it is only 2 right so that is why to avoid that uh, because we are calculating percentages right so we need to multiply by 100.0 right so events table has three different columns app id event time and timestamp and this is an example of events table so here if you just look at this right so for app id 1 2 3 how many clicks are there in 2022 right so in 2022 so all these are 2022 so how many clicks are there one how many impressions are there two so one divided by two multiplied by 100.0 it is 50 percent rounded to two decimal places similarly for two three four one click one impression so one divided by one multiplied by 100.0 is 100 percent right so that is what you have right so basically what we need to do is from this table called events the first thing that we should do is we should make sure that the timestamp the year of the timestamp is 2022 because we are only concerned with 2022 click through rate right so we can write from this table called events let's make sure that we only keep those rows where extract the year from timestamp column is equal to timestamp column is equal to 2022 right once we have this then what we need to do is for each of the group we can calculate the number of impressions and number of clicks right because that is what we are going to use to calculate the click through rate right so what we can do is we can go do group by the app id column right because for each and every app we need to find the click through rate so group by app id return the app id and then how do you count the number of impressions and number of clicks for each of the app so you can do is whenever your event time is equal to impression then you count it as one else count it as zero and then once you have all the ones and zeros assigned for impressions right you sum it up so that is going to give you the number of impressions and you can apply the same concept that when your event time is equal to click uh, apply one else zero and then sum it up and that is going to give you the number of clicks right so what we can do is we can write case when event type is equal to impression right event type is equal to impression then one else zero and since you started a case when statement you need to end it up and you sum this right so sum this entire thing and that is going to be aliased as number of impressions right same thing you need to do for clicks as well right so instead of writing this entire thing just copy it here paste it here right and uh, instead of impression it should be click here right so we have this and num it should be number of clicks right so clk like whatever it does not matter okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are getting so now if you see for each of the app id you need you have the number of impressions and number of clicks right now what we need to do is let's store this in a common table expression so with cte as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses and from this common table expression what all do we need we need the app id and then 100.0 multiplied by number of clicks divided by number of impressions right and you have the percentages but you also need to round it to two decimal places so we write round 
this entire thing to two decimal places and alias this as what is required in the output ctr okay so since we don't need to order this by anything so let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are getting so you have the click through rate for each of the app id right up to round it to two decimal places let me go ahead and submit it as it passes all the test cases so yeah this is accepted and this is how we do it again not a very difficult question all we had to do was you know firstly we made sure that the year that we are you know talking about is 2022 then we grouped by the app id used case when then and sum of it to you know calculate the number of impressions and the number of clicks for each of the app id stored this in a common table expression and then we simply you know use the formula that is given in the question to calculate the click through rate so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video